duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola and we're picking up here in Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. I am not sure how to say this. After having explored the entirety of the town. Um, and we're still trying to investigate the rest of the trench town here. See what's going on. In the back of the workshop. You find a small forge. An elderly woman is doing a bit of intricate work. Repairing a long, thin blade. What gets your attention is that the blade isn't metal. It's one of the glowing ruin blades of the Ariel. She runs her hammer along the blade in long, careful strokes, shaping the energy. She hasn't noticed you. It is incredibly delicate work. Hmm. You get closer to the smith. You watch the slow, elaborate process of, the shape, of shaping the crystal blades. Her concentration is intense. Sometimes she mutters a little spell. Eventually, she sets the repaired blade aside and reaches for another. Then she sees you. Oh, a distraction. A pavenite, yes? I am Smith Ysibol? 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 Um... I tolerate visitors, if they are brief. Interesting weapons you have here. She picks up a glowing blade and looks at it. Yes, when you swing it, the crystals are gone. Pure energy. Magical death. The most powerful weapons. What makes them so powerful? Pure magic. They will cut through metal armor with ease. The robes of a magician will stop the energy. Such robes on the battlefield are rare. How are they made? I think Haven would pay well for our secrets. Yes, we would. Haven tried to get our secrets so far many times. They always failed. They always will. Another question? Um, tell me about Mercedes. This is a town. I am left to do my work. I am not blessed. I am trench folk. I don't care. I don't complain. The trench folk are complaining. They always want more from our leaders. Maybe they should get it. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. As long as I can work. You really don't care? If something happens that keeps me from working, I will care. Until then, this talk bores me. I would like one of your weapons. You can, with the Watcher's permission. I don't sell my own work. I am not a merchant. Go to Rosler's Hall. She would take your coin. Do you ever do custom work? First, you built Isabel is going to snap at you. Then something stops her. Custom. She looks at you. You're the Havenite. You travel all around Sacramento. I do travel. You travel around the wall, poking your nose in. You can get their rare crystals, the ones they don't sell. Yes, if I had some of those, I could make things. I have ideas. Go on. Bring me a selection of crystals. I will need to try a lot of combinations. I might be able to make a new sort of weapon, a new type of spear. Bring me unusual crystals. We can see it if you find what I need. Going to the question. Uh, I have some special wall stones. She looks them over and nods. That is a start, I think. She runs her fingers over them. Not enough. Not yet. Find more rare stones. That's all I need. She turns to her anvil and without a word nods. Or nod resumes her work. Okay, does that mean that she took them? No, she did not take them yet. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so there actually is use for those. Now that I know, I will actually pick them up next time I'm around them. Let's see, who's this? Lonius! Lonius! You 
find a rare site in the R.L. Woods organization. There's a small, tidy office here. Your trained eyes recognize all the signs of proper political un administration. The man in charge walks up to you, takes a good look. His friendly greeting is choked off in his throat. I, I am Melanius. I run the trench town in Mercy, and you, you are the hate knight, aren't you? Oh no. Oh no. You think your vassals are ever happy to see you? They only pretend, you know. They pretend to like you as you wander, spreading your chaos. I have been dreading this moment since I heard that the Haven ships landed. What are you afraid of? Whatever you do, it will make things worse, if not soon, eventually. We finally managed to have some sort of peace with our blessed so that we can make our, our lives tolerable as they wander in madness. Now you're here and can't I convince you to just leave? I have some important business to attend to in your city. Of course you do. Your soldiers are already on our borders. They're not on vacation. You are the tip of the spear. I know what our fate will be. All I can do now is deal with you and hope you're merciful. Thanks. You know, we could use some... Use Haven's influence. Sometimes we have resources to hire warriors for certain tasks. So what do you do here? I run the trench town. The regular people, the trench folks of the RRL, they come to me with their needs and problems. I help them as best I can with what few resources the blessed give me. What sort of problems do you have? He slumps in his chair and sighs. Our woods are full of magic. It keeps us safe. It also calls monsters. Hides brigands, warps beasts, and summons spiralings. They always have- we always have a fight to keep the forest from eating us. What resources do you have to work with? We trench folk have our own warriors and weapons. Most of the blessed are still focused enough to be able to help us. Ivan is one. He is a blessed and woods mage. And he loans us warriors when we have a real problem. We can keep ourselves safe from monsters. The hard part is staying safe from the blessed. And how do you deal with the blast? They aren't focused. They keep wandering off. That is the best case. They cause the most harm when they try to help. That is why I dreaded your coming. You only draw the attention of the lust. Then, once you are gone, they will look at us. It sounds very difficult to be Ariel. Melanius sniffs. Offended. Don't be mistaken, Hypnite. The Ariel are a superior people in a superior land. We have our little problems, but the crudest, poorest of us lives like anyone else's lord. I have a question. You sometimes hire outsiders to help you. Yes, the blessed are generous enough to give me resources to hire warriors to clean up particularly nasty messes. The blessed are wealthy after all, and they are too precious to do their own fighting. And do you ever hire Havenites? Hmm. Perhaps, if I thought I had something you could use. However, you don't have a fort near here. Fort Mist has not been rebuilt. If it was, we could trade. Okay, so I need to rebuild Fort Mist. Which is there. Oh. That's where I was going towards. Let's see if we can go do that quick. We are close to the ruins of Fort Mist, one of Haven's seven outposts in Sacramento. The fort is a port at the north end of the Aria Woods. It provides a place for trading for trade and carousing safe from the unpredictable and dangerous forest that surrounds it. 
Now this ruin is ready to be rebuilt and become a refuge once again. Happily, General Toru has made this possible. You see the fires of Haven soldiers on the south side of the fort. The Ariel signed a treaty giving this land to Haven. Loyal soldiers, workers, and materials have been landed here. All they need is the command to get to work. But at the same time... Outside force miss a warmly lit house has its door propped open. The sign beside the door says Ariel Welcome Center. Outside it, in the middle of the flower garden, an easel has been set up with a large blank canvas. No one is in sight, but little puffs of smoke float out the chimney. Mm, let's investigate this. The house, surprisingly, contains a cafe. Little tables and chairs, a well-stocked liquor shelf with a selection of Haven spirits. Several soldiers are here. Every wall is covered in paintings, wild forests, still lifes, and the people of the Ariel. All are signed with a sloppy PG something something. A young Havenite with messy long hair and a tan vest lounges by the window. He has a pipe in one hand and charcoal in the other, absorbed in his sketching. Interrupt the artist. You get close before he reacts. He stops sketching and looks up irritated. One second, and I can... Oh, you're not Ariel. You're the princess. He doesn't rise, or bow, or kneel. I'm Paul, painter and Haven's Way agent for the Ariel. What's up, your royalness? Are these all your paintings? He turn his face turns proudly to the wall. Yes. This part of Sacramentum has been a real inspiration. I sent them to my dealer in Haven. She finds buyers, or she tries to. Would you paint something for me? No, I don't take commissions. That's why I work an actual job. This way I get to paint for myself what I want, and only when I feel like it. And do you get buyers? He goes, no. But all great artists are never appreciated in their time. Mark my words, Viola. My work will become valuable one day. Probably after I'm dead. You are a Haven's Way agent? Yes, it's my job. I work for the Haven's Way Society. They advance Haven's interest in our colonies, mostly getting locals to work with or for us. Not the worst job I've ever had. It pays my bills and lets me travel the world. In return, I recruit all yell soldiers for Haven. How's the recruiting going? He indicates the half-empty room. Decent. We get lots of locals late at night. Mostly trans folks who are tempted to sample Haven spirits and liquors. I never get blessed, which is probably for the best, he shrugs. At least I have plenty of time for my art. Why is there- and why is never getting blessed for the best? I don't know. Because- maybe because they're completely crazy? Don't get me wrong. I'd totally try that elixir of theirs if I could. I think it'd improve my painting, or kill me, one of the two. Alas, an outsider like me getting elixir is impossible. They really guard it. What are you smoking? A local harp mix that the non-blessed used to relax. They say it's supposed to help your creativity. When you ask if it's helped him to be creative, he frowns. No. Mostly just thirsty. It does relax one, though. Want to try it? Mm. You're dirty to, mm, to have and can wait. Take the pipe. Paul smiles, hands you the pipe, and watches your reaction. The first time you cough and feel an acrid burning down the back of your throat. Second time, it manages to taste worse. With the third puff, you get very thirsty, and the beginnings of a headache. You hand back the pipe with a trembling hand. Paul smirks at your disgust. Maybe you have to be born here to like it. Anything else, princess? That's all. Paul gives you a lazy wave. The soldiers rise as you walk out. Hmm. It was worth a try. Oh, 
magic and peace with Ariel Lance taking up much more tangible form. Uh, zombies, shades. Sorry, not zombies. There could be zombies. Should could be shady zombies. <laughs> There we go. Research studies. They are the remains of old haven settlers awakened by the bizarre magic of these lands. You find that they bear and they were buried with some jewelry. It's yours now. So that's what's going on here. The magic infusing the aerial lands. Yeah, more. Skeletons, let's see. Sapphire skeleton. We gotta take those out. Normal skeletons are fairly easy to deal with. Sapphire skeletons, they're the magic ones. Sapphire, ruby, anything like that. Magic skeletons. We don't want magic scout. Haven Farm. This was a highly successful haven colony with a mill and distillery on a broad swath of productive farmland. Now it has been abandoned. The settlers here didn't leave long ago though. You suspect they were only driven out in the last few years. The buildings are intact, so are the fields. If you could destroy whatever drove your people out, Haven's Farm could be rebuilt. Hmm. What did you Haven's Farm Mill is probably a good source of wealth. Water comes in through a channel by the north wall and can be used to turn the massive millstone. Good flour could be produced for all nearby. Now a few huge brutish mire boars have taken up residence here. They long ago ate all the rotten, rotten grain, now they're grinding up the sacks and crates in their massive jaws. If they detect you, they will surely want some fresh meat.
Oh boy. I hate the hatred. Okay. So we should have been taking care of that one. I was not aware. Ugh. with that guy. seems okay in here. So that's what got them out of this area, at least. We probably should have gotten our... here but I think that's going to be all for today's episode so thank you all for watching please like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring that bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos and remember to free the feral wildflower in you bye bye